Boondocks. Go, uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead. What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Foxy Baby, and I am representing Team Vlog for Thursday. So it's really good, everybody. I hope y'all having a good day. Um, I was definitely supposed to be working today. Yeah. Um, well, first let me give y'all a little little spiel about myself. Uh, college student from VA, you did, all day. I'm a graphic designer. I speak English and Spanish. Um, I do. I sing, I dance, what don't I do? I model, I don't know. I do a lot of stuff. I run parties in DC, it's all crazy. They go. Um, so, I'm supposed to work. oh, I work for the Redskins. I'm supposed to work today. I'm supposed to have an event. You're supposed to go out to training and all that stuff. No, no, did I go today? Eh, sad face. But it's all good though. I'm out here chilling with y'all, my team vlog crew. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm either drinking something or eating something. Trust and believe. But um, today's video is about Devil Sanders. And I saw everyone else's videos um, earlier this week. And, woo, I'm excited. Um, but what I wanted to do was something I wanted to throw a little wrench in it. Because I know everyone's talking about men versus women and relationships and all sorts of stuff. And I kind of want to throw something else out there. And my video is going to be about a cultural double standard, I guess. And we're going to talk about the animal work today. Get it. Um, so, back in the day, um, when African Americans were slaves, the N word was used derogatorily. Derogatorily? But it was used in a bad way. Um, against the African American race. And now it's been, you know, completely changed and some people have said that they that it's been flipped for the better and and now it's flipped for something positive. Whether you believe that, you know, the N word can ever be anything positive in 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 your mind, that's you. But for me, I rap it when it comes on the radio and everything. I I have to, you know, I feel like you know, I, I can do it, whatever. But there is a double standard. In this case, when you know you rapping your favorite song, you and your white girl, she's like, "Yeah, my friend, that, that nigga, what? Excuse me, you didn't say Negro? You didn't say, didn't say Negro? Oh my gosh, I feel some sort of way. You know what I mean? But I think it's you know it's all it's all within. I don't know. It's it's very situational. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this topic today was because. It's it's so broad and everyone can really get into it and really you know give their opinions. There's so many different ways you can take it. As I know some people who are okay with other races using the N word because they know them and they're cool with them and like oh yeah that's my homie that's my nigga yeah so that's cool if you're using it positively and you know the person who's saying it who's not African American or whatever. So that means like if I have my white girl me and my white girl walking around the street, walking down the street and she's like yeah, um, I'm talking about it. Yeah, that's my nigga. Da, da, da. I knew, I know that she's, you know, saying it in a positive way. That's cool. I saw some people, some people take it that way. Other people take it like, I don't want you saying it at all. Some people don't like anybody saying it at all. Like, I don't like white people saying it. I don't like white people saying it. I don't like Asian people saying it. I don't like Indian people saying it. Like, just, people just take it very extreme like that. And for me, I mean, I recognize it as something that's definitely, you know, part of the African American culture. And it's hard to say because some people identify with, with African-American culture even though they're not African-American. It's different, you know? And I'm from the suburbs, so I don't really call my friends niggas. And, like, when I do, it sounds really funny coming from me. Like, yeah, what's up, nigga? Oh, I can't even say, I say it weird. Like, I don't even know. That's just me, I guess. But, I mean, it's it seems like... It's okay for me to say it, and I feel like, personally, if I say it, you know, I'm not degrading my race by saying it, 
I'm not being like nigger, nigger, all that type of stuff. But I feel like if somebody came up to me and didn't know me, and they weren't African American, and they and they were like, hey, "What's up, nigga?" I go, "Whoa, hold up. First off, I'm a woman. I don't I don't believe in no a nigga bitch type stuff. No. First off, number one, goodbye. Number two, uh, that's different. That's weird between races. Like, and I don't know you. Like, number three, I don't know you for real, for real. Like, something's a little off there. So I feel like if it was a stranger, I wouldn't be able to handle it. But I've had white friends who who say it, and I don't feel offended by them saying it because I know that it's coming from a different place. I know who they are. I know their background. I know what kind of person they are. I know they're not saying it in a bad way, in a negative way. And I'm okay with that. Now, I'm not saying everyone should go around saying the N-word because I said so. Miss Fox Baby is not that powerful. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's just... There's certain things, I mean, this is, there's a time and a place for everything, you know? And if you aren't African-American and you feel like you want to say the N-word, keep it in your car. Just do it in your car. And you listen to the music, do it by yourself, in your house. With your really, 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 really close black friends, don't go out into the world and be like, N-word, this, look at that. No, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's just me. I'm not really a big N-word person in the first place. But if Jay-Z says it, you know what I mean? I understand, and I understand why rappers use it. You know, I see why rappers use it. If you want to identify yourself without people listening and everything, that's cool. And it rhymes. Six figure, put a trigger, ching trigger, you my nigga. I, I, I get it, you know what I mean? I, I'm not a rapper. But I get it, you know? So I don't, I can't knock the word because I sing it. You know, I, I, I'll wrap it, you know, when I'm, in my, when I'm in my car. This is the car, actually. This is the car signal. I do this. I mean, it's car. Um, so I'm in my car, you know what I mean? I be doing it or whatever. I say it, but I'm not a real inward person. It is That's that's my topic. That's how I feel. Y'all definitely let me know in the in the post, in the bottom down area, the down there. Let me know how y'all feel about the N-word. Black people saying it. Other races saying it, strangers who you don't know coming up to you, calling you N-word if you are African-American. If you're not African-American, let me know how you feel. Do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel comfortable saying it around certain people? That's definitely a great, great conversation. So I'm excited to see what's, um, what's going to be coming up in those posts. So I'm going to get into my challenge. Oh, wow. Okay, so I stated earlier, I'm not a rapper at all. Please don't, don't come at me sideways, first off. Don't come at me sideways. Okay. Video. Uh, shout out to my grandma just walking in the door. I'm making a video. Um, and I have to wrap my video. I do, yeah, roll your eyes because I'm rolling my eyes too. Everyone, it's, it's our challenge. Our challenge is to rap. So here's my song. You can you can listen to my song, ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Uh. Shout out to Drake for the, for the instrumental. Drake featuring Jay-Z. Shout out to Miss Foxy Baby and shout out to Foxy Grandma over there in the corner. She's listening. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. This is going to be epically horrible. Lego. You know my name. It's your girl, Miss Foxy. End of the day, boy, you know I ain't cocky. Staring at computer screens, we all look on the CCTV. Everybody love it, got the internet jockey. Videos watched from here to Tokyo, Japan. But I'm covered in DC, thinking a go go band. Tell no, I ain't a rapper. It's for those who don't know. You can check out my video. The girl can really blow. Like, who would have thought I could spell from the A with change the game? Recognize I the swag ain't the same. We made this place light up. Team Bugs, where it all goes down. We don't make this place light up. Team Vlog shutting YouTube down, we can make it go. Ah, that's it, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Baby, I did it. it! took like six takes. I did it. Anyways, 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 anyways. So, um, closing credits. Shout out to all Team Vlog, Monday through Saturday. Sundays are chill. We praise you for Sundays. Um, shout out to ha, Corey, Cook, Els, MD, Fendi. Dizzle that nizzle, everybody. Oh my gosh, Techstar J, H, H, S, C, T, V, everybody, like, everybody, like, hi to your moms, everybody. Anyways, so, um, team vlog, Thursdays, Miss Foxy Gaming. Follow me on Twitter.